All right, welcome in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're not already. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm trying something new this time. We'll see how it goes, but I am very excited. This is gonna be my top five picks of 2020, 2000, 2020. Now, I know Wakanda Forever has came out in 2020, 2020 I believe. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I have not seen that yet, so if there's any other ones that are like that I do not talk about in here, it's because I have not seen them. I only do want five that I've seen. Uh, and none of these are in particular order out of the five, so one's not better than the other. It's just my top five of all the ones I've seen. And the first one is Everything Everywhere All at Once. The pure, unique, and wild ride of the story was mind-blowing to say the least. It had me laughing, it had me in awe, and it even had such a heartwarming story with the moments that made me tear up. Went through all the emotions with this film. Now, this is my second pick. Uh, is easy, one of my favorite films of 2020, Prey, a sequel slash soft reboot in the Predator franchise, aka the five fifth Predator, uh, while connecting to the first two films and is pretty much was a retelling of the same first Predator 80s film story-wise, it was also arguably its own thing set in the 1700s around native tribes in Northern America. In my opinion, it's the only Predator film to dethrone my favorite action sci-fi film since I was growing up, aka the 1980s Predator. Now here's my third. My third film of the year and another 2020 favorite is Pearl, the sequel to X that came out early that same year. For me, it had super old classics such as The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy story, while super creepy film mix throughout the film. Maya Goss' portrayal of Pearl with, was award-winning, in my opinion, in many. From her deep emotion levels to her dialogue to her improv at the end of the film. Easily better than X in my opinion. Here is my fourth. Of my choices is a Christmas film I didn't know we needed, but I'm glad we got. That is Violent Night it is called. Such a bloody and violent fun time. Well, it did last a little too long, in my opinion. It is easily an uh, instant Christmas classic. Just a very unique take, while surprisingly have Home Alone inspired parts in it. And here is my fifth and final pick for 2020 films. Personal opinion. Gerardo Del Toro's take on Pinocchio, dark and emotional from beginning to end, set around World War II Italy, I believe, I couldn't fully remember. Uh, despite not being a fan of the famous puppet's plane design in this particular, uh, I was blown away by the amount of love and compassion that went into this overused novel story. Easily kicking D uh, Disney's live action remake the, to the side, uh, but yeah, definitely a great year in my opinion for films. Now tell me down below what you guys, what your guys' top five are. Now I want to do shows, but I did, when I was looking back, there wasn't many shows that I watched and in 2020, 2020 that I was very interested in, but I had to relook. And there's definitely some shows that I didn't review, but I did watch, so I have to go back and think about that. I don't know if that's going to be coming out this week or if maybe I'll save it for the end of next week because this is more of uh, easier to do. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments, what your top five are. I am really curious. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is it. I don't know if I'm going to be doing Toastal King this week or next week. I, it, it depends on how busy I am, but I'm going to try to start it either tonight or Sunday. So. Keep an eye out for that. Um, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe and school.